Alright, hey everyone. In this video I will guide you through the quick start on how to set up Droid Run in under 5 minutes so you can just run your first agent job. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you have to do is to install Python 3.10 or above. And after that you also have to install the Android device debug bridge which you can just download from this link. And if you open this, you can just scroll down and download the right SDK platform tools for Android for your distribution. And after that, you will need to connect a physical Android device, or you can also use an emulator device from Android, connect it via USB. Um, and on this device, you have to enable the uh, developer options, which are quite hidden in the settings. So you can open up the settings then you have, you have to scroll down to the About Phone section and there you have to find the build number and you have to tap multiple times on the build number to enable the developer options, which I already did. So I can now just search for the developer options here and here you have to enable the USB debugging option. Uh, so when I do this, you can already see here it will ask me to allow USB debugging and then I tap on allow and now I'm connected to the to my laptop via USB. So awesome. Now uh, I can just open up my terminal. Oh, let me quickly clear this and um, install the Python package by pip install droid run. I already did this so I can now just go ahead and say droid run setup. And this will download the Droid Run Portal APK and install it onto your Android device. And boom, you can already see the overlay is showing, so every, everything works. The APK is now installed. If the overlay doesn't uh, show for you right after installation, you have to go into the app. And on here you can see some um, configurations like the show overlay. I will quickly disable this so we can see better. And on the, at the top, you can see accessibility service, which is enabled for me. If it's not enabled for you, you have to tap on this button here, which will then route you to the accessibility service option. And there you will see the Droid One Portal app. If it's off, you have to tap on it and manually just uh, enable this. So it, it's required for Droid One to work. So we can really extract all the information on the device. So after I did this and everything is set up now, I can then uh, go ahead and export my um, API key from the provider I want to use. For example, in this case, I will just use AlpMAI, hit export with the, your API key. And then I can just through the CLI say Droid1, for example, open the settings app and configure the provider to open AI, which is case sensitive, and the model I will take GPT-4, for example. And when I hit enter, the agent will now try to achieve this goal, which is to open up the settings app. He has some different tools to achieve this, and you will see that he tries to find the settings app by clicking on search. Now he will insert settings, and then he will tap on the settings app. And boom, he has achieved his goal successfully, completed. Awesome. So this is one uh, one um, thing how you can run Droid1 via CLI. If you want to script it with Python, I can quickly make a new project, demo Droid1, go into this, open up cursor. And here I can then create a new Python script for like example testpy and I can then uh, copy this simple agent script out of the docs, paste it into this. And here the only thing that it's important is to, to get your device serial. So how to get, get this is to um, enter into your CLI Droid Run devices and there you can see I have one connected device. This is the serial uh, from your device which I have to insert here 
and then I'm already good to go. You have to, uh, you can here um, insert the goal like on the CLI, which the agent wants to do, and then you just have to hit agent run, and the agent will just try to achieve his goal like on the CLI, and that's it.